going, guys? This is Kevin with Pacific of Tiny Homes. Today, I got my host right here, David. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we finally got some mics. Check it out, guys. I, I know, know you guys always mm -hmm. tell us on the comments the mic, the mic, the mic. We finally got some. And now we're here presenting you guys. They're not the, the best, tiny but homes. hopefully, we do the job. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at a 24 foot tiny home that we have here. It's already completed. It's actually a beautiful home, actually. And the 24 footer is very spacious. And this one actually does have a lot of customizations. So let's go ahead and check it out, guys. Come on. Come with us. So you guys may be wondering, maybe not, why is the banner here? We did bring it back from an expo. So we do have it in quality control. So we're just going to do some touch-ups and final checkups too. We actually were in three expos all in the same weekend. It was actually a blast, man. I'm pretty sure you guys seen us. But come inside and check out the home. Beautiful house, honestly. Gorgeous. So one of my, at least my favorite part of the Victorian is always the roof. So if you point at the roof, can you point the roof? That A-frame look. Yeah, especially with the blue pine. It looks really beautiful. It does definitely complement it, especially with the ship lap and that blue pine. That traditional Victorian style. Man, it's, it, can be, it cannot be anything like that, honestly. But yeah, come over here and check out the, the kitchen. We're going to be going, we're going to be showing you guys our kitchen. Go ahead and let them know what's what's going on right here, uh, David. What do you see? So this is your standardized kitchen. Um, this customer did do an upgrade on the countertop. They upgraded to the quartz countertop. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. And then counter. they also did opt out from the two burner electric cooktop that we offer standard to a Furion um, propane stove. It is a three burner with a small oven. You guys have probably seen these a lot in our videos. Yes, it's definitely something that we we always show. But if you guys want a bigger one, a full size one, we can definitely fit that here in your in your tiny house as well. Okay, and then towards the right, you do have a single unit washer and dryer combo. A lot of people do ask us what brand do we use, and if you can point closer, that's the name of the brand of the there. It's splendid, it's splendid. That's dope. That is splendid. That's a washer dryer combo and it fits. We try to utilize size. our space too as well. Honestly, go check out that bathroom though. That bathroom is so legit. Check that out, guys. Look at that. We get a lot of customers ask us, can we make a bigger bath? Yes, we can. Bigger shower. Sorry about that. So this is a bigger shower. This is a four foot in, in, in the length. And you got your little rain rainfall right here. And then we also have the full size sink. And our customer decided to upgrade it with with some counter with some quartz countertop. I think this is quartz. And then they also have some uh, some a little extra space right there. Look at that. So I know we have our traditional ones are smaller. They're actually like a little super small, but we can definitely go bigger as well. And look at the way they position that toilet. Give you like a, that traditional house feel. You know, instead of having like a RV style toilet on the section that way, you have it placed on this side because we do use flushable toilets in all our homes. Right, David? Yes, sir. Okay, don't forget the barn door. A cool thing that uh, you guys could actually do is actually paint the barn door too. So if you request it, maybe a black color, a gray color, a color that stands out, you can do that as well for the barn door. Yeah, you can definitely paint Just to add the barn a little door. extra touch to the home. And your shape lap, even your staircases right here as well. Look at all this storage space right here in your home. Overall, this 24 footer, it's a, it's a nice, spacious home. It's beautiful. We got the other homes that we want to show you guys. So, we do. I know you guys want to stay in here and look at these homes, but we definitely got to show you more other houses that we have because we want to put a lot in this video. Come on, guys. You guys already know how it is. Pacifica vibes. We got the 3P team right now. We got Ronnie J over here. Hey, do a little dance, boy. Uh -huh. We got Home Depot delivering get truckloads every week. Full of materials. We have contracts with local Home Depots and local stores. It's pretty windy, so you guys hear that. I'm so sorry. To... Hopefully the wind doesn't How affect is the video. Is everybody All the the place. Oh no, it's 137. So. This is actually a beautiful house. What size is this right here, actually? Is, is that a, 
26 footer or 24 footer? 24. Yeah, it's 24 footers are. It looks like a 24. Yeah, the 24 footers are just actually. No, it's actually a 26. 26? What's a 26 footer? Oh, 26. 26 footer. And wow, look at this. Check this out, guys. You got an exterior deck right here. It's a 6x8. So if you ever want an exterior deck in your house, you can definitely get an exterior deck. Right now, it's like uneven right now because we're still under construction. So. They still gotta adjust the jacks and all that stuff, but man, this is a this is a beautiful house with what is wow, what is that combination, David? Is that a metal and, and cedar combination? Yeah, this is what I was looking at right whoa. now. It's like metal it's and some sort of wood right Yeah, here. I thought it was all metal for a second, but then I realized like whoa, whoa wait. I think they painted it, they stained it. It looks like yeah, yeah it's it's it, it's probably we don't know. It might be blue pine, it might be cedar, we don't know. But it looks we'll beautiful. We'll put it in the description when yeah, you find we'll out. Yeah, we won't figure it out. But yeah, it's definitely but it's beautiful. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Wow. Well, let's go ahead and come inside. Check this home out. 24 footer. Oh wow, still under construction, but it's almost done. I think it's yeah. like 90, 90, 90 percent, 95 percent. 90% done. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna have a microwave too. Wow, this this home definitely has a lot of a uh, couple upgrades that we see here. It's ship lap all around. And you got your vinyl waterproof floors. Can you point at the mini split too? Oh, that's an Arctic series right there. The B226000. So that's that is a beautiful a bigger one. Mini split yeah. If you guys, BTU. Um, mm -hmm. request, if you guys are going where it gets maybe a little bit colder or hotter, you could request a bigger mini split um, for your tiny home as well. And that's really good about us that we can accommodate for our customers. So if you are in the weather conditions where it's really, really hot or really, really cold, always upgrade your mini split because it's gonna do you so much wonders, honestly. But yeah, this home definitely does have the, the, the quartz countertop as well. A lot of people are really loving that that look. Look at this backlash right here. It's just gorgeous. It complements the home. It's just beautiful. You got look your- at that sink though. Mm -hmm. This is a this is barn it's style? It's pretty big. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, this is, what was it? The Katie. That's dope. <laughs> it does complement the countertops, honestly. It's, it's pretty dope. This one does have the washer dryer combo as well. What else do you see, David, that you think it's, a, it's, it's an upgrade? It's it's here. It's not installed yet. Oh, but you can see the railing but right here. It, but it's a microwave range hood. It's a real nice one, too. Oh, wow. It's going to go. Oh, you see the attachments right here on the wall? So that's going to be attached on the wall. They put the little the little hangers over here. Yeah, so it can, so can be hanged up, the hangers. Pretty dope. And they got the little electrical right there. They're going to be running, too. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, definitely. This house does have a lot of upgrades. Our customer actually knew what they wanted to do with this home. But let's go ahead and uh, also the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. this is actually the biggest bathroom. Yeah. Wow. What size do you think this one is, David? Probably five foot. Five foot for sure. Yeah, it's a five foot shower right here. This is a five foot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a five foot shower. It's actually really, really big. Compared to the other one was a four footer. The one that you've seen previously, but this one is a five foot shower. And it does have with your standard sink. You could actually fit a full size sink um, and a medicine cabinet right there as well, but they decided to go standard. And it's totally fine. But yeah, overall, it's a beautiful home. I think we got more houses to go, go see. You should go check out Walmart House. We know what is doing the little cliffhanger and what we have going on. That's that very fun. We will show them what we have going on. Yeah, but it is a pretty nice unit. It's a new, Especially with the lot. Yeah. You guys need to see. We get this a lot, actually, David. I mean, we, how many people have they asked, have asked you, like, can we? Well, we'll see, we'll see. It's a pretty common question. I want you guys to be still intrigued. I want to look you guys, so. Go check it out. Raindrops, you finally on my head. Not even raining. A little cardio, huh, is it? Oh, David. Yeah, that's a good thing. So actually, it's kind of windy, actually. Hopefully, it is not affect our audio. I keep saying that, but I want to give you guys a crispy voice. Get around me, edit it. I'll edit it for you guys. But yeah, there's a lot of houses right now, honestly. I think this is the best time to actually come see our homes, right? Yes. Yeah, if anybody wants to see our homes, come check it out. It's not super hot. It's within like the 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we got a lot of houses to be, you know, to come check out. Especially this beautiful one right here. Can you guys see anything different? So, you probably notice right away is probably the the way the window is positioned. Yeah, this is because if crazy. you zoom out, that's dope. That's dope. 
yeah that's actually actually this is a park model if you see the width of it too as well it's 10 foot wide so it's very spacious so let's go ahead and check out the inside of this home this is a cliffhanger right here that we got going on that window is looks like it, it was condensed let's see the reason why it was condensed so as you walk into this yeah most likely that's a wide entrance So it's about five five, and right here it's about another five six five five two as well. So give us a little bit more information about this secondary loft, and David, and see, see what you know in your take. I mean, I know this customer is going to be able to, you know, either put a bed up here or maybe put a desk. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to use it for, but there's definitely enough room for, for either or. Yeah, there's a lot of 